Hello, I'm Nicholas Yates. This screencast video is one within a series of how to use Adobe Connect. Please see my YouTube playlist for more videos on using Adobe Connect in online learning. Thanks. Today I'm going to show you the files and web links pods in Adobe Connect. If you don't have them on already, I've got the files pod here. If you don't have it on, you can easily click on pods and then click add new file share. Also, I'll need to put on the web links pod, so I can click on add new web links pod, and sometimes it snaps into a space that's already there. Firstly, I'll show you the files pod. To upload a file to give to students during an Adobe Connect session, simply click upload files. Perhaps they're already uploaded, in which case I can easily put them there for students. Alternatively, you can browse your computer, select another one, and upload it there and then for students to gain access to. For students as participants, they can easily click on one of the files, and they have a download files button, and they simply download it to their computer. The web links pod is very similar. Instead of uploading and uh, giving access to files and resources, I'm uploading web links that may be long and students can easily then click on it and navigate to that web page. To add a new web link, all you need to do is click on the right menu and click add link. I'm going to copy and paste in my path and also my URL name and there it is for students. I'll put another one in to show you. I've got my URL name and also the website. It's a long one so this by adding it into this web links pod it'll make it easier. The student view is exactly the same as this one they can click on the particular uh, website and then just click browse to and that opens and that opens on a separate web page for them to read thanks for viewing this video please leave a comment or email me for any follow up questions depending on your browser or future updates the layout of adobe connect may be slightly different yet i hope the functions remain the same Please see my YouTube playlist for other Adobe Connect screencast videos. Have a great day.